Hold on when you need a friend I'll never let you go again Reach out when your mind's uneasy Cause I'll understand Hold on when you need a friend I'll stay here to the end Get up, don't hang your head We'll take it step by step Fell inside Now I'm living in a matchbox This time, all it needed was a little spark. Give me my heart back, cause somebody stole it and put it in your head. Good morning guys, today I'm going to Portland and Portland is actually one of my favorite places in the United States. I actually love the drive going there so I'm hoping to get a lot of good scenery on the way. And today the trailer that I'm taking is actually the commodity so somebody orders a trailer and I deliver the empty trailer and so that's what it's going to be like today. I am taking Dakota with me this time so you guys will see a lot of her and I guess I will try to hit some points about having a dog on the truck so you guys know a little bit more because I get a lot of questions about it and so I'm gonna just try to fill those in on this time. I really wanted to make a video about that and I wanted it to be like a fully inclusive video because I did write an article about having a, a truck dog and I want to make a video for that but this isn't going to be in place of that this is just going to be some questions that I'll answer today and I'm hoping to make that video soon. right now because they're kind of a mess but ugh, I always get pulled into every single way station I swear maybe it's my luck again who knows ugh, okay let's go do this where's the if oh no I have that okay alrighty I will be back see you in a little bit I'll let you know how it goes buy a permit because apparently you have to have a temporary permit to transport a trailer as a commodity for Idaho and um, Oregon might require the same thing so 
now I have the number to call Oregon to see if I need a permit. So I'm going to do that so I don't get any tickets. <laughs> Anyways, you learn something every day, I guess. But the guy was super nice to me, so at least I have the permit now and I'm not going to get in trouble in Idaho. Um, but they require you to come in, or they, they allow you to come into the ports here to purchase these, but they don't in Oregon, so he told me to go call ahead to make sure and see if I need it or not. So that's what I'm going to do now. like a squirrel or something like that 
And I was like, no, we better nip this in the butt before it becomes a bad habit. Dakota really, really likes vegetables. I have a vegetable liking dog. <laughs> and um, so she really, oh my gosh, she really likes carrots, but her favorite food, I think, is banana. But if you leave a watermelon on the counter, and this is a true story, I left home, I had a watermelon like bigger than the size of the steering wheel, and um, I came home and the watermelon was gone, rind and all, the entire watermelon was gone, and I was like, oh my goodness. And she didn't get sick or anything from it, which I'm super surprised, you know. But um, yeah, that was a that was a fun time. She listens when she wants to. She knows what you're saying, but you know she's a little stubborn. Need to work on that a little bit. But um, she's really smart. Like, so she knows all her toys by name. So I have like 10 toys at home. I can tell her to go get a specific one and she'll bring it back. Or um, she rolls down the windows in the truck, which is really irritating. So sometimes I have to turn off the truck and take the key with me when I leave. Like if I pull in front of the fuel island and I go in for something, I have to turn off the truck or else she'll roll down the windows. Or if I like run parked at a truck stop there was one time I came back to the truck and her and the driver next to next to me were just chatting it up and he was talking to Dakota and I was so surprised I guess she just over time she's like oh I like you so because normally she doesn't like anybody she's very she's not very nice on the truck but I think off the truck she's okay she's just nervous about people at a rest area here in Idaho to take my 30 minute break but I'm sure you've noticed that it's a little bit later than what you would expect where you would expect me to be by now and so just just to inform you guys I haven't even made it to Boise yet um, this morning I had some problems with the truck that I had to get repaired before I could go on my run so I took it by the shop and got a new tire and I also had a coolant leak that needed to be fixed. So I fixed, or I, I got those things fixed and then got on my way, but it took a little bit of time. So now we're here. Dakota wants to go outside and play and have a potty break. And I try like every, on my 30 minute break, since I've already like snacked on the way here, I'm gonna spend most of this time playing with her, you know, to get her exercise and stuff. And um, one thing I want to show you guys is how I lift her out of the truck because I feel like in, in my first video I didn't, I allowed her to jump out of the truck which is not what I normally do so I'm gonna show you what I normally do now. So she's really excited right now but first what I do is I put my arm, I'll put my arm across her chest and then she's gonna put her front legs down on this step and then I will catch in front of her back leg, so I'll show you kind of what that's like. <laughs> Sometimes she jumps, <laughs> but I can most of the time catch her just like this, but I'm gonna let her go now because she's gotta go potty. All right, come on.
like, ow, there's like six of these in her car right now. Stickers, look at these things. See it? like a ball for Dakota when we come out here to play so it's easier on me but I guess gotta improvise today so let's go see what we can do for exercise come on hold on when you need a friend I'll never let you go again reach out when your mind's uneasy cause I'll understand Okay, so my break's almost done. I only have two more minutes and good gracious, it's cold outside. It's so cold and it's so windy and we did the best we could, but there was lots of um, those stickers in the, like the spiky ones. So I didn't want, she keeps pawing at the water. I don't know if you can hear that. She's telling me that she's thirsty. ago BKM was flying the drone and we lost the drone and um, it lost signal because it was so windy out here and he was flying it by a bridge and we thought that it hit the bridge and um, he thought that he lost it and so he he was just sitting here and then all of a sudden his phone like lit up again and he could see where the drone was. I have no idea what happened, but I guess it hit the bridge. And, um, but we got it back safe, so that's cool. <laughs> Uh, 
so the little propellers on the drone are like all messed up I don't know if you can see from hitting the bridge so now I think I'm gonna get probably to at least Baker City is it Baker City or Baker I don't know I want to at least get to the Baker truck stop or Arrowhead, which is past Pendleton. I don't think I'm going to be able to get anything. It's going to be dark by the time I get to Pendleton, so there's probably not going to be any filming done. But I'm hoping for in the morning to have some great shots going into Portland. And I have always been, been on the outside looking. I'm done for the night. I got a little bit down the road. I don't always share exactly where I am because I like my little hidey spots that I find um, because they're quiet. Also, I don't want people looking for me there. Anyways, today's been pretty good. I actually made it through the Oregon way stations without going inside and having to show them my permits, so yay. Before I go to bed, let's have a bit of a scary story time. So, as I was going down the highway today, I was just crossing the border from Idaho into Oregon, and there was this, this section of woods, and so I'm just, I'm just driving along, and I am not kidding you, this freaked me out so badly. <laughs> I look over to the woods because I'm just, I'm constantly looking around and something catches my eye. And then like, I was staring at it and I just, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was becoming more in my vision, like I could see it better. And there was this guy and there was like nothing around. He didn't come from anywhere, he was in the woods. And he's coming out of the woods. <laughs> and he's not carrying anything, but he's going like this. <laughs> and, and I was like, oh my god, there's this guy standing in the woods. And I tell, and I tell BKM, and I'm like, oh my gosh, look, did you see that guy? And he's like, no. And I'm like, now I sound crazy, but there was totally some creepy man in the woods with his arms up in the air. I don't know what he was on, but I guess that's all for tonight. Okay, so I know that my scary story isn't all that scary, but if you guys have actual scary stories of time on the road or something that happened, please comment them down below because that would be super cool um, to read. And also, I don't know why, I just, I enjoy being paranoid for some reason. <laughs> and um, if you liked my scary story, um, like the video. That would be cool.
I'm just gonna say goodnight to you guys and I know everybody's been asking where the camera guy sleeps and oh my gosh guys I I don't know have none of you guys been in a truck I don't know I guess I must have to do a truck tour sometime but there's a bunk right above me so I just have to <laughs> So I just have to drop that down and then his bed's already made and uh, yeah, it's super easy. He just takes one of these pillows and we're good to go. That's how it works. So I'll see you in the morning. Good night, guys. Okay, so we're going to help a truck trailer on fire right now. We've already used all of our fire extinguishers and it's not going out. Mm-hmm.